the funds are not being received now in um, uh, in, in in the West, for example, in France, and how about in Africa? So, no, it's different. Yeah, the, the perception or the reception, 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 the reception. Uh, it's very different in Europe. It was not very welcome. And uh, in Africa, of course, it was very well known and uh, study and uh, everybody knows you. Uh, mm. It's very different. Yes. So, uh, would his uh, would he be dismissed as uh, well promoting violence? Uh, hence, uh, he's not uh, being well received in Europe. No, I, I should be should be, but the use that are as argument but it's a uh, it's a uh, it's done by neo conservator conservator conservatist i think it's not very important but uh, what i think it's in france it is it should be because uh, he resigned is uh, as a doctor as a psychiatric he resigned he sent a letter to 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 his minister to the minister saying I cannot uh, I cannot assume to be psychiatric and try to save the people if the system is doing exactly the contrary uh, of what I am what I try to do and uh, I think it was very really badly welcome. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, I think in France they, they never forget that, they never. And uh, also we choose to be, to be nearby the occupied people, the colonized people. And also it is, for, for them it is like a tra tra treason. And uh, I think it's a part of uh, the problem. And after that, of course, they instrumentalize what he was saying on the violence for justify their their, uh, their choice. But then, even among the radical left, so how would he be received? Oh, it's complicated because even with uh, with even with the radical left, the leftist, yes, uh, some of oh oh. oh all these persons say, oh, we love Fanon, we admire her, it very, very strongly, he's a big, great man, great thinker, blah, 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 blah. but uh, in fact, uh, they don't like, I think also it's because Fanon is saying that obliges them to, to see themselves. And they don't want, as you know, the European are very proud of their philosophy, culture, European heritage, and they don't like to be forced to be to see themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't like to do like that. Mm -hmm. They don't like that. So it's the same with um, the acad academia in America. No, it's very different in the in, uh, in, in US, they are, he is very well known and he's very steady everywhere. But in the in the framework of uh, no, in the in the framework of uh, post colonial studies, and a lot of people know him, and you can speak about Fanon even like that. It's very easy, but. Um, in France, we are very late about the post-colonial study. It just begin to to be implemented in the university because because uh, colonialist French colonial history. They don't want to open the book. They don't want to be criticized or even uh, to see as they were as a colonizer. They don't want to to see that. Therefore, they try to to retain the implementation implementation of post-colonial studies. 
then uh, there was quite a festival uh, in Algeria last year mm -hmm. uh, with the 60th anniversary. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it 50th or 60th anniversary? No, 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 no it's, uh, it was 62 or something. 62. 60. No, no, 52, sorry, 52. 52. Mm -hmm. So, do you think there have been some new um, interpretations of Fanon? No, I think the Adrian also are not very clear with that. They try to econo, econo, iconograph, iconograph, econo, econo, icon, 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 oh my god, <laughs> iconization, no, iconization. Of Fanon, and they prefer to have some. It's, uh, what I understand, this colloque was not very good. So Algerian told me it was a, a disaster. This colloque was a disaster. I don't know exactly what, why, but some Algerians told me that. So they told you that the it was the colloque was a disaster. Intellectually speaking, it was a disaster. The eclogue. The colloque, the colloque in Algeria, where you are, where, where you were, mm -hmm. they told me it was an intellectual disaster. I don't know if it is true or not. Mm -hmm. How about in other African countries? I'm not in the rich African country. I know the people know him, I know. I know, but uh, what does it mean to know? The people and to follow what he's saying, or it's very different because, uh, as you know, I don't know if you know, but he wrote about uh, he anticipated the, the consequences of the colonization in the, in the African countries, and in fact, 50 years after the the liberation, the, the country are still neo-colonized and they are still. Uh, and their mind is still occupied by the former colonizer. Therefore, but Fanon is, is known. But it's, it is the same thing in Algeria. They, 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 they want, they are very proud about Fanon, but when we mention what Fanon said about uh, the national bourgeoisie, they don't want to accept that and they are. Yes, yes, it's very interesting, but they seem not concerned by, by that, and they are very concerned because they, what he anticipated 50 years before, it absolutely is there. It's uh, very painful to see that, because the people are not, uh, not yet uh, free. You know, some people would uh, say that uh, Fanon talks more about race and try, uh, some people try to interpret uh, Fanon as downplaying the class factor. Mm -hmm. But in fact, Fanon actually was looking at both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? <laughs> I'm, not I'm not a specialist of Fanon. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know. Yes, but you grew up in France. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you are now working also on um, Europeans of African descent. Uh, I am uh, expert, UN expert on the African descent. And what does that? Uh, oh, it's me. No, it's a, it's a UN, it's a UN system. <laughs> But uh, it, I am ex independent expert working on the racism. In fact, it's racism, <coughs> discrimination, and uh, <coughs> xenophobia affect, affecting uh, the Afro descent people everywhere in the world. And, uh, but as you know, the, the the UN system is pretty complicated. You have the title, but it's done, it, it does not mean you are able, you are free to do what you want, how you want, and uh, to be very, you, you are in fact not very independent. You know. 
is the international in community. It's a pity too. It's a pity. But there's also the foundation of uh, Fanon. Yes, the French Fanon Foundation. Yes. 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 And what does it do? Uh, in fact, it's very, <coughs> it's very simple. It was just organized and regarding what's Fanon work. And uh, it's uh, around uh, psychiatric aspect, changing the, the psychiatric uh, work on annihilation, desalination, uh, colonialism, colonization, a new form of colonialism, on racism, and there is some, uh, some international solidarity. And, uh, so, and we work also on archive, and uh, we publish some booklet. That's, that's all. But it's very. We don't. We we don't uh, try to create something very special. But just we follow what what was the main topic of Fanon, and we decide to work on on this uh, point. But uh, the France Finance Foundation, it is in a network, international network, and we have some different part of the world. We have some representative. Uh, so have you had um, any contacts or links with uh, people from China? No, we don't have. Not yet. We have contact with people from Taiwan, but not from China. But with the people from Taiwan, they also help translate? Uh, normally, they, <coughs> I think it was translated, yes. In a, but in Chinese, it is translated. I don't, I don't remember. But it is translated. One or two of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, uh, the, there is a, an organization based in Geneva City. Center Studies for Third World. Uh, they decide to make a, a collection on the fighter for freedom in Africa, and Fanon was one of the first. And uh, when I went to to um, Taipei, I I brought with me the book, the, the, the setting books. It's a booklet just uh, with an introduction. And some uh, some quotes, some finance quotes, and uh, it's just a very small book, but, but pretty interesting. And um, I think they they decide to translate it in Taiwanese, mm -hmm. in the main language in Taiwan. That well, then that get that will get circulated in all all through China. Uh -huh. Because it's the same oh, okay. language. Mm, okay. Good. Mm. And how about the links with uh, the movements in Latin America? Ah, uh, we have some link, but uh, it's a little bit different. We have some links, but not very strong. They know Fanon. Most of the people I met uh, know Fanon, but uh, it seems it's just like uh, an intellectual uh, position, not uh, not a political position. Even if they agree. Anita, come in. <laughs> I don't want oh, to be your change, your no, 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 please, <laughs> oh. please. So, what, what kind of tea can I offer you? You continue with your work. So no, 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 we are just chatting. Okay. We are chatting about uh, the reception of Fanon yeah. in Europe, in Africa, in Latin America. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. But what sort of, what, was there some tea? I'll take later. Hot, hot. Anything hot, yeah. Anything, something very light and something very hot. Something very light. Yeah. My throat is okay. troubling me again. Genetics. But you don't disrupt. Wait a minute. Okay. Um, Do you have something for? Yes. <laughs> they are very well organized. Yeah. And very impressed. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's the green tea. Okay. Yeah, uh, some ginger. So what is milk? Green tea is the um, it's from the it's light. Huh? Yeah. Green tea is um is that um the kind yeah, of yeah. yeah it's nice it's nice that eh? green tea eh? green tea. Eh? I need to find the uh, in India, but I don't know where. In the top of that, they get me kaffa tea. Kaffa tea? No, kaffa. Kaffa? Kaffa? Kaffa tea, yeah. The From Ayurvedic, no Ayurvedic tea. Okay. Where I can find that in Delhi? There is Ayurvedic uh, pharmacy or Ayurvedic? Yeah, there are Ayurvedic pharmacies, yeah. Um, you know, if your son could just check on the net also, you get the addresses. Okay. But in Lodi uh, colony and you know, sort of near his place, they should be. Okay. But this is, are you sure it was Ayurvedic? Ayurvedic, yeah. It was not Kema. Was it uh, a tea C-A-P-H-A. Hmm? Oh, Kaffa. Okay. Kaffa. So then it was Ayurvedic, yeah. Is it told me that it's Pitta, Kaffa, Vata? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. told me uh, you were Vata. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> you are Kaffa, sorry. Yeah. You so are that's Kaffa. That's why you must have Kaffa too, okay. But it's very good. Yeah. I haven't tried it, but yes. It is. Ayurvedic, they will still certainly be able to find something in that area. Yeah. Even in Khan Market, I think somewhere. Khan Market, okay. Yeah, that's okay. As many places with it's a pharmacy, in fact. I have to enter in a pharmacy and ask for that. Maybe, maybe okay. if it's but he can check it on the net. Okay, I will ask him. Yeah, he will ask him. See what they like. Ah, uh, I'll wait for a while. I just take it, yeah, okay, so that it doesn't get cold. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> and it likes very hot. Really? Oh. <laughs> And in Morocco, I'm not getting it very hot anywhere. So. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we were um, okay. just now we're seeing, uh, talking about uh, Latin America because uh, Fanon is so often being associated with Africa. Yeah. yeah. But actually, yeah, uh, yes, the, the, I think the, the whole question about uh, post-colonial, uh, yeah. post-colonial. I think also the, in, in Latin America, all the. The, the, the fighter for freedom and uh, under the tortionary system no knows very well Fanon knows no Fanon but the young people not really mm -hmm. but the question but there's a difference between knowing him knowing that there's such a figure uh, and the but I, I, I told you I am be. not a specialist yeah <laughs> in Fanon <laughs> yeah it's strange, it's not because it's not, he, he's my father, I am a specialist. It's strange because the people make yeah. confusion. He is only my father. Yeah. I'm not specialist. <laughs> but you know better. No, I, do, I don't know better than the people who study very, very yeah. carefully. Or, no, I don't know yeah. better. Yeah, but what I'm interested in is not just the intellectual discussions, mm -hmm. it's also how uh, the relevance to social movements. Mm -hmm. And I think that was also what Fanon was uh, really at. Uh, yeah. So is he didn't mean his things to be on just uh, an intellectual discussions. Yeah. Yeah. But because he was thinking of struggles and, uh, and what would be certain priorities, what would be certain uh, things that shouldn't be uh, overlooked yeah. and his whole discussion about race then of course uh, that's also the reason why he's uh, received in that way in Europe or in the United States. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what I'm interested in is actually more in how social movements uh, may, um, uh, may be, have access to different uh, intellectual resources that could help them in um, ah, I the, the strategies. That, that's my. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. That that's why I I point uh, the collection uh, beginning by uh, the setim in Geneva, because they decide to to publish some book on uh, 
very well-known figure of uh, freedom, freedom fighters in Africa. And the first was uh, Amilcar Cabral, mm -hmm. or Fanon Amilcar Cabral, Patrice Lumumba, mm -hmm. uh, Ben Barca from Morocco, mm -hmm. and uh, the next one will be Steve Biko, mm -hmm. South yeah. Africa. Mm -hmm. And after that, there is a. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to do that because, at the just point, <laughs> there is a, an introduction. And after that, they, they, they quote some uh, extract of certain books. And just for mention uh, some points uh, which are very still relevant and pertinent, actually. And this is very interesting. And I have to say, I wrote the introduction for Fanon. Mm. <laughs> That's true. Mm. But it was not because I am specialist. Mm. It's just because I was I, I I was thinking since I am in charge of the Franz Fanon Foundation to to see how Fanon is still pertinent and relevant now. And what I can start, what I could say, this kind of person, the freedom fighters. Uh, uh, did the first step of the work means liberation or freedom if you want but the, the, the work was not achieved mm -hmm. and now we have to work for get emancipation and uh, it's like for the independence the independence the African independence we are just the first step of the work too. Now we have to to go further and uh, get emancipation. Mm -hmm. Because I think what you said uh, was very important uh, in, the, in in this uh, forum because you mentioned the, the distinction between emancipation and freedom. Mm -hmm. yeah. liberation. Liber liberation. Liberation and, and emancipation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. For me, it's, I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but for me it's something absolutely different. We could be liberated from slave mm. or colonization, but it does not mean we are emancipation. It means we are free in our mind, free from, a coloni from the, mm. the rest of colonization, from what I call the, the late bonds of colonialism. And what it is very important interesting for me now is to see how in such country you could see the effect of colonialism still now till now you could see that in the street how the, the people are still affected by the colonization and by what following after with the, 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 the Moroccan king and the, the stupid and the murder and, the Hassan II, Hassan II was horrible, uh, believe me, he was absolutely, I don't know if you know exactly, the, it was absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ben Barka, for example, was killed mm -hmm. by, the, by the king, by mm -hmm. the secret service of the king. And the, the son of this, Hassan II, is Mohamed VI, the, mm -hmm. the, the king now is stupid guy. He is a stupid mm -hmm. guy. And, and what they are doing with the uh, uh, Sahrawi, by example, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an horrible thing. They are still colonized and uh, they are playing a very bad uh, bad game with the Sahrawi. So, anyway, mm -hmm. but it, it, is, uh, it, it, it is what is interesting me. It's to see how. And even be also because we are not conscious, we are not uh, conscious, mm -hmm. conscious about that. It's to see how even us, if we are in a social movement in the in the world social forum process, we are absolutely uh, under the pressure of coloniality. And uh, if you refuse to see 
how it's working and why it is working and why it is still applied, therefore we will be always under domination. We, we don't have the, the possibility, the force, and even the wish to, to destroy the element of domination. And it's not because we are doing... Uh, it's like well, yesterday I was very interested by the... the how did you say? The, the montage mm. made about Vinod mm. and about education, the role of education. Mm. It's exactly the same thing. If you don't want to understand how the system is working, mm. therefore you cannot affirm you will succeed to change the system. Mm -hmm. You have to understand sure. how the system, and, and, and it's not because you are campaigning against uh, Total mm -hmm. or Veolia. You don't understand how the system is working. It's produce domination. We, we have to understand how the, mm -hmm. the, the production of domination is done. And in fact, if I discover that, it's very simple. It was because I was teacher first. Mm. And when I was teacher, I was very interesting, not by the good student, but by the very bad student, because I was a very bad student. But every time the people told me, but it's normal because my father was psychiatric, my mother was psychiatric. Mm. And of course, in the mind of the people at this time, it was, what does it mean to be psychiatric? If you are psychiatric, it's because you are crazy. Mm. And therefore, I was also crazy. It is my heritage. And, uh, but anyway, mm. I'm joking, but not mm. really. And uh, as, at this moment, I decided to work only for the, for the, 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 the scholar in difficulties. Mm. And uh, for understand that, you have to not interrogate the, the people in difficulties, but to under interrogate the system who has procured, was the system who is instilled the difficulty. Mm -hmm. And you have to, to, to work on didactic aspects mm -hmm. and to de also, even you yourself, you have to understand how the system provoked difficulties mm -hmm. for simplify the difficulties, for open, not simplify, but just for open the way mm -hmm. For the other to enter yes. in a, in interrelation, yes. in a relationship with the topic and the difficulties uh, made or or created by the system. And that's true. In fact, the whole deficit theory, you know, the whole deficit is created by the system. Yes. That you know, so and so is weak, and this so and so has deficit. So and so is no good. This ability, this these are the people who have ability. Only they can sort of yeah. pass the system. That's all created, constructed mm. by the system. Absolutely. And I was very interested because my son was a very good uh, scholar, and I never understand how it it, it will be possible. How it will be working, or I was very interested. I swim in the. God, but how it's possible. And in fact, I understand we we facilitate by our our, our environment. We facilitate for him the way, and it was very easy. And and after that, I understand. Okay, I understand that, but enough, enough. How I can how I can solve the problem for them? And uh, I was looking for here, 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 and that. Long time ago, I I met uh, a people from Israel, and his work. It was very strange man, and he he was working for um, 
the young people, he, he is a psychologist. And at his time, just after the Second War, he was uh, working, he was a psychologist in Israel, and he asked to, to, how did you say, uh, to evaluate the young people coming from the uh, concentration camp. And when he do that, when he did that with a traditional taste, mm -hmm. he discovered all these uh, young people were absolutely mm -hmm. inapt mm -hmm. to anything. Mm -hmm. They were with a dead mind, with a low IQ. Yeah, with very politics of IQ. <laughs> yeah, low IQ, even more than low IQ. Yeah. And he said, it's not possible. They have something in their mind, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. I have to, to understand, to find. And he, he, create, he decided to create <coughs> something we call uh, lear uh, learning potential mm -hmm. device. Mm -hmm. And uh, he realized some tests. With the first step is to, you have to do something alone. And uh, the second step is you you have to learn to the young to the people how they can solve the problem in different way because there is not only one way it could be so it's one more than way, one way and the second the third is to 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 let alone the the person and to see if he profit or not of your uh, mediation mm -hmm. and you have to evaluate the first step and, <coughs> when, and it was like that I, and, and it, it is exactly the same system mm -hmm. how you can learn from the system but also it is a way to understand to deconstruct mm -hmm. and to, to find some possibility to resist or mm -hmm. to change to change some important thing and to, to think differently. It was exactly the same. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so on the question of education, uh, so there will be a lot of... But it's the first time uh, we, we, yes. we discuss about yes. that. <coughs> never, never had a chance to talk like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even with Vinod, we never yes. talk about that. Because mm -hmm. Vinod came to teach for us. Uh, on the question of uh, science, sustainability, and education. Mm. So we also had quite a lot of discussions about questions of education. Mm. And even I understand, at this moment, I was very bad, uh, really I was bad to school. <laughs> How bad? <laughs> very bad, <laughs> very bad. Give an example? No, very bad. I, 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 at this time I loved write, but I write what I want. Mm. And without norms, and uh, and the people say, oh yes, but it's normal. You are coming from uh, from a psychiatric environment. It's normal. You are. Why even the calling? What is the psychiatric environment that you? I was, uh, in fact, when I was young, I, I grew up in a different uh, place where the, the mental uh, patients were in the oh, clinic, oh, clinic, that's psychiatric a, oh, clinic. I see. I grew up in this environment. Oh, that's why they thought that you yeah, were. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I see. But this whole, I mean, this whole, even the construction of what is normal, yeah. okay, is again a social construction. And you know what but is. What it was very strange yeah. when I was young, I believe the psychiatric uh, clinic was uh, uh, real life, yes. was a normal environment. Yes. It was when I have to be invited in a in friends' home, something like that, I, I found, I remember, I found that his her life very strange. Yes, really? Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. Because it was uh, with a mother, with a father, yeah. with a brother or sister, and the cooking, and, the, and in my life, it, it was never like that. Yeah. Never, never, never. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, for me, it was, the real life was, was the life with the, the, as you say, the malade mentaux, the, Mental yeah. uh, yeah. ill person, yeah. mental ill yeah. 
destroy person. Yeah. That was real life, yeah? Yeah, for me it was. And and people who deal with real life situations have so much more, you know, sensibilities mm. and sensitivity and even maturity, even young children can understand these things rather than those who are so protected, yeah, yeah. everything very straight jacketed. And so when what is called as IQ, you know, when you say that this mm. is high IQ and this is not, it's it's such a problematic mm. way of but it, even today in education, we have struggled. We try to throw out this whole notion of IQ and the psychometrics, yeah, yeah. which absolutely straight jackets education. And even then, it's so deeply embedded. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So it's so easy. I mean, in our country, the biggest problem is that the largest majority children, when they come into school, the teachers just think they are low ability. They label them as low ability, low IQ, slow learners. So when you've labeled someone as slow learners, how can that person learn better, you know? Yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> I remember, uh, because after that I changed my my work. I was not a teacher, but I was work only on didactic, general didactic at the university and uh, working for that. And uh, I remember also I was uh, testing, but regarding his uh, mm -hmm. His methods, yes. not with a yes. test or piaget or yes. something like that. Yes. And uh, it was very. I remember once I received a young lady. She, uh, her, her parents told me she is. Um, she was in a psychiatric environment because she was uh, mm. more than depressed. I don't mm. remember exactly. And. Uh, <coughs> At this time, they would like know how is her possibilities. And uh, when I saw her, I I said, okay. I was not very mm. very very, but I said, okay, we will do, and we did. Mm. And at the moment, she told me, okay, I understand what you want. You won't know if I am intelligent. Really? <laughs> I said, no, no, my, me, I don't want to know that. It's, uh, mm. it's not my concern. Mm. I just know if you are able to, to benefit of mediation. Mm. And if it's okay for you, we could continue. Mm. She said, uh, no, no, I understand. You won't know if I am intelligent. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly she became very. Yeah. Yes, very furious, very nervous, yeah. and I uh, should just go to. The, we are. We were just living nearby mm. the Luxembourg Garden. Mm. Go to the Luxembourg, come back if you want. If you don't want, no problem. Mm. And she come back, mm. and she said, "I will finish, but I, I know I am intelligent. Mm. You know I am intelligent. Absolutely. And uh, but my parents don't believe that." I'd say, okay, and uh, she left, she succeeded all the, all the fraud, it was very interesting yes. to see that. And uh, she told me, I, I have to propose, do you want to come back la, next week? No, no, no way, I know I am intelligent, you know I am intelligent, mm -hmm. you have now to convince my parents I am intelligent. Mm -hmm. I said, no, no, you have to, mm -hmm. you can do that, you are intelligent, you can mm -hmm. convince your parents, I will just give to... The, the result to your parents, and the, and when the parents came, they <laughs> arrive and say, okay, we know our uh, our daughter is intelligent, but mm. she refused to be intelligent. Absolutely. And it was very interesting because it's for the first time I was confronted to person who don't want to be intelligent, yes. identify as intelligent. Yes. And in fact, the most very interesting yeah. uh, study on social intelligence, which Pierre Dassin did, who in fact was a research scholar of uh, Piaget, but he mm -hmm. changed a lot of Piaget's thinking when he went in different cultures, you know, and he did a cross-cultural thing and he realized Piaget was looking at a very narrow, urban, white, yeah. white, male mm -hmm. kind of a, a sample, you know, and his work, all his work was around that, so he went 
and then he's found and he came to us we invited him so he was telling us about this because for us it's important to look at it really through a cross cultural lens not through this very narrow lens of you know what is intelligence so he said he went to some african community where he was working and he said when he would go in he'd ask the mother do you think your daughter is intelligent and the mother would say of course i know she's intelligent she comes back she comes home and she sees that there are all these utensils lying and she starts washing them herself she doesn't have to be told i think she's very intelligent so he started just querying people on different notions of intelligence and one of the most beautiful things i find which he quoted was he said that there was this uh, in a community they said that we think that how do you look at a child developing or some intelligence growing mm-hmm. so we say when a child is born the child needs the whole village to look after the child and then gradually the whole family to look after the child but when the child grows up then the child looks after the family and when the child is fully developed and very intelligent and the full development then the child looks after the village mm-hmm. i thought this was such a beautiful definition of the development of a human being yeah, or a yeah, child yeah. you know i mean you're just looking at it in a collectivistic way of what when everyone else is looking after and now when this yeah. this grown human person is looking after the whole village and we think that that is the most developed form of this human being so i think that what's more crucial in yeah, us we have been working that we have to look at it really through different cultures we are not bound by looking at intelligence yeah, or yeah. ability or you know anything like that and these days the fascinating work which dwick did you know she actually sits down with children there are two groups there are children who are performing very badly at mathematics like you said i was a very bad student i mean this is why my work my phd students also work on what do you mean by being a bad student so they sit down with this group of class 7 students who are doing very badly at mathematics they're failing and they're not because mathematics is a is the killer subject and then with half of them she works and she says that you know what is intelligence uh, this is just uh, something that is there i either have it or i don't have it it's innate you know so they also say, yes i am either intelligent or i'm not with the other half she says it's like a muscle the more i use it the more it develops yeah, yeah. yeah so this is and she calls this mindset there is one mindset in which it's not inherent you change it the more you use it and it's unbelievable but after just 3 4 weeks the performance of this group which has been working on you know the more i use it the more it develops really improves so yeah, it's yeah, yeah. so much to do with in the mind I and mean, it's my own notion of you know yeah, what yeah, is absolutely. that i can be a good learner so you know yeah, yeah, yeah. what you're saying is oh. fascinating mm-hmm. <laughs> and and uh, and at least i was so bad the uh, student in mathematics particularly yeah. in mathematics yeah mathematics is the i decided to, once i decided to study mathematics just for c not to be uh, yeah the scientist yeah. mathematics yeah. but just to to understand for example i i did not uh, understand uh, how was working the equation yeah Yeah and I decided to understand I just asked my son to explain to me how it's working yeah. and it was very suddenly it was very clear because I changed my my position yeah. and it was very simple and I said how it's uh, how the system yeah could be so so complicated and so expl- marginalized yes. yes it is marginalized it's so it's so simple to yes. understand you just have to to change the way you took the the concept it's just yes to... yes and that is emancipatory mathematics yeah, yeah. you know in fact that is what one is now there are people who are just working on maths for social justice yeah, yeah, yeah. maths for equity because that's the one subject which is telling people that you are no good and you know the majority is made to feel stupid yeah 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 absolutely <laughs> you know, that you know true mathematics and i was i remember when my son was a younger i said how could you how could you do that yeah how could you do that it's, it's very simple yes. it's very yes. it's, 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 
no, it's no simple. I don't understand. And once I say, okay, be seated here, yeah. close to me, yeah. explain what you understand. Explain yeah. exactly what, what you understand yeah. and what was the, the reason exactly you allowed you to understand. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And after that, it was very, it's very interesting. And yeah. in fact, I think it's exactly the same thing with domination. Absolutely. Exactly the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. To be able to change that hegemony. Yeah. You know, the hegemony is when you think that mm. I am what I am. And you know, this power is going to be rule over me. And the problem with the, the IC, the IC, you saw the IC since two days, it is the, the problem, they don't change their mind. Mm. They are still under and they want also to reproduce the domination for them, the power. There is something with power. I do. That, that, uh, yes, uh, this is... Say that the, again, say that again. Oh. About the power. Yeah. yeah. They don't change, they don't change their minds. They are mm. still under uh, the hegemony of power. Mm, yeah. And the idea of power is the solution. Okay. You just have to, to take the power yeah. and then... Okay. The, the, the things will change, change. Okay. and in fact you can take the power but if you don't change your mind and Absolutely. the reason for what you want to take the power Absolutely. the power will, will be still the power and you just uh, will uh, replicate mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. replicate, mm -hmm. replicate mm -hmm. the, the same thing yeah the same structure the same, same structure of the world of the power of the, and you yeah. you are you will be just uh, uh, concerned by keep yeah. the power between your hands and the, the but I understand that step by step chemin faisant walking in walking and now today I understand that I am saying that how can how we can help these people because they are very Strong people, they want change, they are very honest, they are very concerned by the, the way the, the world is doing, how we can help the, mm. the people here to change their position and their mind, how we can, it's very complicated, mm -hmm. it's not so simple because they are not really, some of them, by example, I don't want to mention any, anybody, but some of them told me, uh, but it's not important to, to speak about coloniality, it's nothing. We just have to know how we can uh, get funds, uh -huh. to make campaign. Yeah. I say, okay, if you want. And uh, racism, but racism is still there. Yeah, what can we do? What? I say, oh, okay, you can, you can live with the racism. Of course. No, no, me, no. Me, no. It's impossible for me. I, I think it's a... Uh, if people actually say we can live with racism, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Do people say that, that yeah. racism is not a problem? No, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. And in fact, even I, because one of them told, after my intervention told, but, but the, the problem of racism is solved by the charter of principle. <laughs> and we solve by solved the charter. By the charter of principle. And I, I, I would just I say, oh my God, what is this? Therefore, I say nothing, but I want to check the, check the structure of principle. And I saw they mentioned effectively, we cannot discriminate people by race, yeah. sex, no, no, no. And I, I, after that, I, I mentioned them, but if you use the same word that the dominance, mm. because a race is, is, is a, is a, is a political orientation. When you say racism, it's a political orientation. It means you adopt, you admit there is more than one race. And therefore, for me, there is only human, mm. human race. There is only one race, the humanity, that's all. And therefore, if you accept there is racism, mm. you are you are just still replicating what the dominant are saying. Mm. And I think as a social movement, as a term, 
we could take other expression mentioning not mentioning race <coughs> as we admit to be not racist mm -hmm. and when i say that it's it's <coughs> for them it's like a, oh but it's shocking for they were some of them were shocking i said but why it's not it's not complicated to change the world it's not complicated it's just a, a, a question of will mm -hmm. and, Change the mind. <laughs> yes, change the mind. It's, it's uh, not so easy to change. <laughs> so you were saying that they thought it's not so difficult. Mm -hmm. So? No, they thought it's not so difficult. Well, she's saying that she thinks that it's not so difficult as, as <coughs> you understand that you don't accept that there are different races. I mean, if you accept that there is only one race, then. then then the question of discrimination comes more through the other agencies of how people are using power and... For example, after this afternoon, they suddenly one, one say, okay, we can uh, work on governance. Governance. Yeah. Okay, we can mm -hmm. work on governance. But who is using the term of governance? Mm -hmm. It is the international community. Mm -hmm. Saying good governance, yeah. There's do, do we have to adopt that term? We can create our own term, saying exactly, exactly what we want to express. Express, sorry, express. Yeah. But it is a. Yeah. It is difficult. It is, a, and I think also it's, it's what what Fanon was trying to do it's uh, to deconstruct some concept of re by, by example with alienation desalination domination humanis humanism and so so i think it's that's the reason fanon is very interesting and he, he forced us to go further and to go behind behind the world behind the concept and uh, to see exactly what what is expressed and uh, mm -hmm. And also to to not be to not be taken as a stage by some expression or some uh, mod. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very interesting. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's just. Uh, no, but I think uh, with the ICE or even with many of the social movements, you see the, the same problems. Yeah. And sometimes it's so difficult. Yeah. It is oh, very difficult. Yeah. And by example, this afternoon, they, it was uh, absolutely crazy. <laughs> it's like for me to be in a... In a In a cafe, in a, a Beckett, uh, Beckett theater, mm -hmm. we are prisoner of our own uh, own uh, charter of principle, mm -hmm. and uh, we try to we try to to see if is it better to have two groups, three groups. Mm -hmm. For the for? same thing that before, and we all the commission was deleted, and they tried to implement all the commission not under the name of groups, mm. but for doing exactly the same thing. At least at the end of the, I was uh, absolutely uh, upset mm. with that and uh, exhausted. And at, at least I said, but excuse me, could we see just five minutes just for? See how we are unable to go further and to solve the problem with the commission or groups. Mm. There is something else, of course. It's not a problem of commission or group. What is the problem? Mm. Could we speak just about what is the, exactly what is your our own perception of the problem? Maybe you you have to 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 pass by these phases. Mm. Otherwise, we will. Continue like that all the night, all the day, uh, mm -hmm. all the day mm -hmm. after, 
and we we did not we at, at, we 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 did not succeed to get any uh, agreement between us because the problem is not to 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 know the right words for groups, commission, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. It's not the problem. The problem is why we are here now. We have a problem with the Watershed Forum. <coughs> we won't see the Watershed Forum, but the IC and the process is more or less problematic. But it's like when you are asking that, it's like a, the other and the look of the uh, was, as in the eye of the other, you could see you are an ovni, mm -hmm. an ovni coming from uh, everywhere. <laughs> and it's strange because I, I, I don't want to say I am right, but I think sometimes we are taking the, the things in the, in the bad way, in the wrong way. And uh, it's uh, very complicated to move and to try to put in the right way. It's mm -hmm. like the, the system, the system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we are, po we are part of the problem. And now I think we are part of the problem. We are exactly reproducing what the system, the, the dominant system is doing. Mm -hmm. It's, com it's uh, implemented some difficulties, some complexity for not be understanding by the others. Yeah. And like that, we can divide the people in two or three groups. Mm -hmm. One, the, the, the leaders, the execute, the actor mm -hmm. of the leaders, and the, the poor people, the poor. Workers. <laughs> <laughs> and after workers, but also migrants and uh, yeah. wives, yeah. and women, and children. <laughs> and, <That's true. laughs> and we divide like that by group. Mm -hmm. And we are doing exactly the same thing. Group first, group second, group third. Yeah. But it's exactly. It, I try to explain them, but it's, and I, I said to one of them, but it, it is exactly the expression of coloniality. Mm -hmm. And uh, why, why we are unable to not reproduce mm -hmm. the system? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. And it's, for me, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. This is what was happening here in the world. Yeah, so we didn't attend that. Mm -hmm. yet. It's complicated and uh, it's complicated to explain yeah. to 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 share yeah. and it's complicated to understand also yeah. because we are part of the problem. Yeah. So unless people can move out and then look at what's happening, it's like we keep telling people we don't understand what is gravity mm. because we are never in a place where we are without gravity. Yeah, so and you can't understand it yeah. till you can imagine what it is to be, you know, mm -hmm. where things are not being pulled mm -hmm. and things are not, you know, so it's almost like that. It's impossible for people mm -hmm. to understand because they don't place themselves mm -hmm. out of that. Mm -hmm. And the, the last proposal uh, made by Gus was, okay, now we could call the IC, no more IC, mm -hmm. but just uh, International Assembly. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I went to Gus, and I said, okay, Gus, we can uh, call him mm. uh, blah, 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 but it's a new appellation could solve the problem, mm. could solve the question of mm. why we cannot go further, we are unable to go further. Mm. And it's, it's strange for me, it's strange. Mm. And it's very, it's very difficult to understand because us, there is so, so, so much suffering in the, in the world, mm. how we can lose our time mm. to reproduce the same thing. Mm. And uh, it, I, I think it was not true at the beginning, because it was a new, mm. new form, it was not true. But now, 10 years, more than 10 years after, I think, <laughs> it was what Fanon uh, teach me. Mm. Yeah, and also how without knowing it, you might think 
you might believe that you know you're doing some good for the for the people and good again who are these people but very often what happens is that people fall within there's so many vested interests and self interests that get attached to these positions as you said i am in this position yeah. of doing good yeah. but you know there's a point when the people also have their own minds to start discussing what is good and then people don't want to give way they that's what's happening in so many places then it's important that i get funds i maintain my position yeah, absolutely i'm the one who's licensing i'm the one who's campaigning and i am not ready to change this so we talk about participatory we talk about all that but that doesn't happen so if they are ngos they just want to remain ngos like in our country it's happening now there's a right to education act so every child has to go into a school which is recognized as but now ngos are saying no because they were running learning centers and they were getting funds for that now they don't want these children to go to schools mm. so you know there are such strong vested interests yeah, and conflict yeah. of interest now you see no we did education very well and we did it with volunteers okay everyone will say that today you say it tomorrow the right wing uh, religious groups say that they were doing a very good job of education are you going to allow everyone to do what they're doing because the rt right to education says no that's mm. right there's a righteousness there's a moral righteousness that we were we were the best we were doing very good work how can the act force us to be in line with the act you know mm. so these are really so oh, that's true yeah strange positions that we that take so strange positions mm. that's true thank you yeah. yes i think you still have to continue the struggle tomorrow tomorrow mm. morning mm. Mm. you know no 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 still try to no no i think it's a the problem they will uh, suggest some commission that it's good yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. yeah right now there is this tussle as to who wants to whether the quebec canada wants to do it and does not want to allow tunisia to do it to list to do it so that's a pity <laughs> Please, so you will continue your discussions when you go to India in January. Yes, yeah. we should. Yes. We've never talked about this before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's first. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Yes. But uh, also because Vinod was was yeah. so present, yeah. and you were so yes. discreet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> therefore we don't have yes. that have the opportunity to yes. talk yes yes and because he knew all the dynamics of the council yeah. and all this so you know i was not sort of into it so i chose to be just listening yeah it's for your first time for a wings i see alone and uh, yes. yeah yes <laughs> as observers yeah. and what we were observing was only who was late for the meeting <laughs> she, she was saying we are going to be observers and we are observing that it's 10 o'clock and people are not yet coming even the organizers are not coming <laughs> sorry but, but it's, it's for me it means something yeah if you are not there at 10 o'clock what does it mean yeah this morning we were there at 9 nobody yeah. was there yeah nobody was there <laughs> Yes. Mm. But tomorrow I have to go to the bank because they took my card. Which card? Like Michel Foucault, mm. and he's very much uh, in uh, uh, the other and many others, but not for none. Huh? So I was sort of trying to figure out why, because partly maybe because um he talked about that. He said, "No, you have to. The system wouldn't change on its own." you need uh, to do it uh, because there's all this violence and you need the the violence to overthrow it yeah and so i think of course in the academy uh, no, especially you didn't say, it didn't you say, say you need violence it didn't say that it said just if the 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 colonized the colonized people used violence it just for answer to the violence of colonizer yes he never yes. and what it also it is interesting but for me it just um, it didn't see only one point 
of you. It is he, he used to see the intervolution and you cannot dissociate one point of view from the other point of view. You cannot do that. That's, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. For me it's very mm -hmm. and I think we mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting to see, uh, to see why uh, the, he's not really um, that well received uh, yeah, in the academia and, uh, or in the social movements. Yeah. Whereas for the Sabbatistas, uh, yeah. somehow uh, Sabbatistas' uh, ideas and all this, they catch on. Uh, yeah. No, the Sabbatistas know Fanon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the uh, Sabbatistas uh, are so much better received in the social movements. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> but what also is very interesting with Fanon is to, when you read the book once, okay, it's uh, interesting, even very interesting. Mm -hmm. But you read the second time, you discover something new. Mm. You read again, uh, yet something new, and it's strange. Mm -hmm. And also, I was very, very frustrated when I read it because I said, but "My God, how we can? How the long way we have to do to mm -hmm. make uh, before mm -hmm. emancipation? Oh my God!" Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, I was very naive, and I believe. Uh, we will get emancipation very soon. Mm -hmm. But now, even now, I am not uh, optimistic for my grandchild or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> or my grand grandchild. The goalposts keep shifting. Eh? <laughs> At the beginning, I think it was just here, and yeah. behind the yeah. door. Now. Did you get to discuss this with him? Did you get to discuss some with things like with. Fanon? No, he died when I was very young. How young? I was young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. the first year. Yeah, but then she wouldn't tell you because she wouldn't want us to know her age. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was very young. I was young. Yeah. Yeah. Too young to have said. Too old. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, he died young. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was also. He, he died yeah. when he was yeah. 36. Yeah, yeah, very mm -hmm. young. Yeah, one forgets that. So obviously, you didn't. Mm -hmm. You read him. You haven't really. No, no, it's so strange also to, to, to know uh, your father through his books. His books. Yeah. <laughs> it's strange to. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You still have some memories. No, he left uh, when I was uh, because my parents. Uh, so mm -hmm. we are separated. Mm -hmm.